Hi friends, I'm Gina and thank you for joining me today. And today we're going to be making chicken marsala in the Instant Pot. The first thing I'm going to do is turn the saute on and add some oil. About two tablespoons. I'm using grapeseed oil. While the soil is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and season these chicken thighs with some kosher salt. And then I'm going to cover them with some flour. I'm going to fry them up a little bit. Not a whole lot. Just brown them a little bit. This kosher salt, you'll probably use about two teaspoons, but you can just kind of do it to your own taste. I have about two tablespoons of flour in this bowl here. I'm going to coat them by shaking this up a little bit. You can also add some pepper to your chicken if you want to. I actually forgot today, but no big deal. Now that my oil is hot, I'm going to add this chicken in here. And you may have to do it in batches to get, you know, all your pieces in there. I think you guys will really like this chicken marsala. It's really good. Really good. chicken brown a little bit on the other side. I'm going to remove it to a bowl. This will allow me to saute my onions and my mushrooms. I have about two cups of mushrooms sliced up. You can pretty well use what kind of mushrooms you prefer. I just used what I had on hand. This is about a medium onion. I've got it julienned. Julienned, however you say that. Let that saute a little bit. Let you guys look at it. sauteing these until the onions get pretty translucent and then like on the bottom if you have any stuck places you're going to want to scrape the bottom so that you don't get a burn notice. It looks to me like mine is pretty clean but if yours is not I would uh, advise you to scrape the, bit, the burnt bits off the bottom there. Okay, so since the onions are pretty well translucent, I'm going to add my chicken back in there. And add the rest of my ingredients. In here I have a teaspoon of rosemary and a tablespoon of parsley. 
have one cup of Marsala wine. And this is about four green onions sliced up. Put the lid on. And I'm going to turn it to manual and set it for 10 minutes. I've allowed this to natural release for 10 minutes, and so now I'm going to turn this and let it finish venting. And then we'll do the next step. So the next thing I'm going to do. I have two tablespoons of, of cornstarch here and I'm going to add it to about a fourth cup of water. This I'm going to use to thicken it up a little to make a gravy. I'm going to stir that really well. It'll be hard to stir it first and then it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to turn the saute setting back on to put some heat under there and then I'm going to stir it a little bit. Shouldn't need to do that for very long because it's already still really hot. See, it's thickening it up already. Then you guys can serve this over rice or noodles, linguine, your choice. I don't think you can go wrong with any of those choices. I think that's thick enough for me, guys. I'm going to just turn it off. You guys know I like to let you know how this turns out. So I've got to give it a, give it a try. This is going to be hot. Mmm. That's really good. It'll be worth it, guys. It'll be worth it.